I mean, I'm crazy about Kara. I really am. She's amazing, you know? And I think, well, I think we could have something special, you know? And I, what I can't figure out is why I'm, I'm shoving it away, you know? I mean, why on earth am I thinking so much about Dixie lately? Remember, remember telling me that you felt like a hero when you married Kara? Yeah, I do, so? Well, it's kind of a high pedestal, you know, for a girl to climb up. I don't understand. Did you feel like you were Dixie's hero? Was that supposed to be a shot? You know the answer to that. Well, remind me. Oh, Mom, don't be ridiculous. I mean, anything but. It was just me with Dixie. <laughs> I mean, I took advantage of her. I, I drove her away because of my selfishness more than once. Oh, I don't know if I'd agree with all that, but the, the two of you were on equal ground. So you think I put Kara in this position because I, I wanted to come across like some kind of knight in shining armor? With Dixie, I, I didn't have to. I was just me. All I wanted from Dixie was her. Now you're a genius. Mothers like you are as rare as hen's teeth. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, sometimes I even surprise myself. I think you should be having this conversation with Amanda. Right. I'm not saying this because I'm hiding behind doctor-patient confidentiality. No. I'm saying yeah, this, fine. Jake. Listen to me. I care about you. Okay? Well, then I apologize. Shouldn't have asked you. <laughs> you got enough on your plate being married to my brother and all. <clears throat> what about that? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. What do you he mean? He was here, and he was just here, so that's why he's... Was he looking for me? Probably. I don't know. Probably. Mm -hmm. Didn't look happy. What happened? Something happened. I said I was grateful. <gasps> the old grateful up the middle trick. Uh, no, I, I am doesn't... grateful, though. I am grateful. I, was, I am. I was grateful to you for treating me like an equal, not some fragile little girl. Why doesn't, why doesn't he understand? Well, I think that's because we had a little more than gratitude going for us. We have love had. What I feel for him is more than gratitude. <sighs> yeah. And I, I, well, part of me hates hearing you say that. I mean, the selfish part, the, the possessive, the possessive part. But what? I don't know, and I'm not gonna say it doesn't make me feel weird to say this, but, you know, I love my brother. And I'll always love you, so if you're asking me if it's okay, like if you should go for it or something, maybe you should go for it. I mean, let's face it. If Uncle Adam were here right now, oh, he would be ashamed of you. What a disappointment. Can you just hear it? Is that supposed to hit me where it hurts? I'm not saying anything that you don't already know. You know what I know. Mm. You're a loser. Mm. You lost Annie to me, and now you're gonna lose Marissa, too. Well, she's not mine to win or lose. Oh, come on. You save that nobility crap for someone who cares because I don't. Well, you can believe what you want. It's working so well. Hey, while we're on the subject of fathers and sons, what do you think old Uncle Stewart would say about you? <sighs> Probably not much. I mean, he'd wonder why I made some of the choices I did. He'd be hurt, disappointed. But my father knew how to forgive. Not like Uncle Adam. He'd just take one look at you and shake his head. Get out of my house! This is not your house! This is Uncle Adam's. You will always be nothing but a tenant here. And when you finally realize that, you'll have no one to share it with yourself.
Why did you come back to the house? I, um, had to drop something off for Scott. It's not completely true. I wanted to make sure you were doing okay. So, are you? I'm not sure. I allowed myself to trust JR again. Again, I better judgment. And I helped him. Why did you do it? I thought that being with him was what you wanted. Even though you wanted... Okay, I knew, I knew you'd never feel that way about me. So, what now? I think from now on, I need to ignore my better judgment and do the exact opposite. What is your better judgment telling you to do? To run. To run like hell. You did test positive for an STD. How could you do this to me? Made a mistake. How could you do this to me? For an STD. Tell your husband. Tell your you did test positive for an STD. How could you do this to me? To me. Tell your husband the truth right now. Shut up! Just all of you, just shut up! You first. Are you sure? Ladies first, please. Uh, thanks. Okay. Okay. So I don't know where we're going to go from here, but I do know I don't want to give up our walks. <laughs> is that too much to ask? That is... That is that is great. That That's terrific. Okay. okay. Uh, you know what? Walks back on the menu. <laughs> and you know what? Talking is good, too. Really? What yes. are we going to talk about? I'm sorry, we're going to talk about the fact that I'm the one that's to blame for the gratitude. I'm the one that put you in a really, really impossible situation. What? That's you, what I'm guilty no, of. You no, no, didn't. no, you didn't. It's my fault. See, when we got married, I got to feel like a big shot. Oh I got to gosh. feel like, no, 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 wait, that I, Ted Martin, had saved the life of a good woman. You saved right. my life. Right. Well, <laughs> in doing so, I wanted something in return. See, I wanted you to be beholding to me. I, I wanted, oh. I wanted to be your hero. You're my hero. So that's you are my gratitude. hero. Yeah, but it, that you know, heroes and heroes only work in movies. In real life, you know, in a marriage like a real marriage, you're gonna have to settle for little old me, dings and all. Is that okay? It's more than okay, and I don't consider it settling. Awesome. Why? I swear, there's like there's an elf <laughs> that lives in your Look, pocket. Look, why don't we every just every time? Save by the bell. No, no, I'm gonna take it... a rain check on that walk. I'm gonna hold you to. You know what, buddy? Um, Daddy's got uh, to do something right now. But I'll tell you what. We'll uh, put the gloves on later and play a game of catch. How's that sound? Yeah! yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay.
Well, if you want to run, go ahead. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody but me. I have been running ever since I found out that all those wonderful things JR did for me came from you. Or no, wait, no. Maybe it was even before that when we went away with the kids and you told me how you felt. Or maybe it was even when we were trapped in that closet and we had to depend on each other to survive. I knew something was going on even then, but I just couldn't accept. I'm talking too much, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> 